Britain's Got Talent's Amanda Holden and Alicia Dixon look animated as they watch Bruno Tonioli leave the London Palladium in a rickshaw after filming. Amanda Holden and Alicia Dixon appeared in high spirits as they left the London Palladium after filming the first round of Britain's Got Talent editions on Thursday. The Heart FM radio presenter, 52, cut a glamorous figure in a plunging cropped white jacket and bondage-style trousers, while Alicia, 45, caught the eye in a bright green cohort and black bralette underneath. Bruno Tonioli, 68, showed off his flamboyant style as he hopped into a pink feathered rickshaw which was waiting for him at the entrance. Amanda and Alicia giggled as Bruno, 68, threw himself into the back of the rickshaw with a suited driver hopping on the bike, ready to whisk him away from the crowds. It looked like it had been a good day for all as host Ant McPartland, 48, gave a wave to cameras as he left the West End Theatre. While Bruno rocked a green velvet blazer, Ant cut a far more casual figure in an all-black ensemble with a Louis Vuitton holdo. It's been an eventful two days for the judges as filming for the new series of Britain's Got Talent kicked off this week. On just day one of auditions, the show quickly turned into chaos as Simon Cowell, Amanda and Bruno all pressed their golden buzzers. Each judge including Ant and Deck on the sidelines, are given one chance throughout the auditions to send a contestant straight to the live shows. Not holding back, out of the first 20 auditions three are already through to the live rounds. An insider told The Sun, Bruno was almost moved to tears watching his golden buzzer dance act, and was first to slam down on the button so hard it cracked. He was shortly followed by Simon, who sent a Japanese dance act through to the live shows. And finally, Amanda was so impressed by a female theater singer that she was keen to give a shot in the live rounds. She was last to press the buzzer. They kicked off the auditions on Wednesday afternoon and will pack in two blocks of audition shows per day until Sunday in a jam-packed schedule. They will then be heading up to Manchester at the start of February for another five days of auditions, held at the Central Convention Centre. The release date for the upcoming 17th series of Britain's Got Talent has not yet been confirmed. While the British auditions have just got underway, Simon has been on screen in recent days on new spin-off show America's Got Talent, Fantasy League. The new show features the judges coaching all-star acts from across the Got Talent franchise with the winning act receiving a $250,000 prize. Please share and subscribe my channel.